Hey guys, I'm sure most of you have seen the Ghibli effect photo filter that's been going viral lately. Well, today I thought, why not try something similar? I'm going to create an Android app that can Ghiblify images with just a few taps. As always, I turned to my coding assistant, ChatGPT, so I gave my requirements clearly. The app should allow users to upload an image. It should then apply the Ghibli style effect to the image, and finally, it should let users download the edited image. ChatGPT quickly started generating the steps for me. First things first, I created a new Android Studio project and named it Ghiblify App. I set the minimum Android version to 7.0. Then ChatGPT told me to add a dependency in build.gradle.kta's. Hmm, this one looks like it's from GitHub. All right, let's add it and move on. Next step the user interface. I created the activity main.xml file and pasted the UI code that ChatGPT provided. It looked pretty basic at first, just three buttons, upload image, Ghiblify, download image. All right, UI is done. Now it's time to add the app logic. I moved on to the mainactivity.kt file and pasted the Kotlin code that ChatGPT suggested. Since the app needed storage access to save and load images, I also added the required permissions in Android Manifest. ChatGPT also recommended some changes in themes.xml and colors.xml, so I made those updates too. Everything was set, time to build the app. And boom, errors, not surprising. Copy-pasting code doesn't always work perfectly on the first try. So I copied the error messages and went back to ChatGPT. It quickly figured out the issue. Some imports were missing in my mainactivity.kt file. I added the missing imports and built the project again. This time, no errors. We're good to go. Moment of truth. Time to test the app. I launched it on my phone, and all three buttons were displayed properly. First test, I tapped the Upload button. It opened the gallery and let me select an image. Nice. Next, the Ghiblify button. It applied the effect, turning my image into an anime-style version. But wait, something's off. The image dimensions looked a bit weird. Back to ChatGPT. I explained the issue, and it suggested a fix. After updating the code and testing again, problem solved. The image now looked perfect after the effect was applied. Last step, the download button. It was supposed to save the image to the gallery and display a message saying, image downloaded. But nothing happened. Once again, chat GPT to the rescue. It provided an updated Kotlin snippet to correctly save the image. I made the changes and gave the app a final test. This time I picked another image, this one of a pretty girl. Let's add the effect. Wow, it looks amazing. Now let's download it. Yes. A message popped up. Image downloaded. Time to check the gallery. And there it is. Mission accomplished. So that's how I built my Ghiblify app using ChatGPT and Android Studio. It may not be a perfect AI-generated image, but it does a pretty good job at giving that cartoonish anime feel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. More cool projects are on the way, so stay tuned.